Hey everybody, it's Jason Waha here, and uh, you know what? I can't even use my normal line of now that my two obligatory formative videos are done for the day, uh, because I had to cover the Rich Piana thing first thing this morning. Uh, my internet at home has been mostly down today. I've had hours and hours without it up, so I haven't been able to get a lot of footage up uh, other than when it comes back online, and this will be my last video for the day. I'm going to go ahead and do a drama video because something else came up piggybacking off of that, and that's Michael Hearn. So let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing, work on skilling up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. You know, here's the thing. Uh, a lot of people are making videos based off the Rich Piana thing. Am I going to claim that I haven't made a video to raise a secondary point off of it? No, because I totally did. You know what? I talked about health issues. Um, I talked about the abusive lifestyles to their body. That is something I have been harping on lately. I have been talking about a lot lately. And, uh, yeah, I totally, in a way, have done something similar to Mike, so I'm not going to claim I haven't used this situation. And I did make a respectful video towards Rich, and I did wish him well, and I do uh, wish his family well. But, yeah, I did use it to highlight a secondary point. Uh, and I think we're going to see a lot of people doing that. Michael Hearn <laughs> tried to do that. And, you know what, had it been someone besides O'Hearn, I might have appreciated the message more. I really would have, because in certain ways, the message of the video that he did was a strong message. It was a strong message. The problem is that he's jumping up using it to claim and reinforce his natty status. Uh, and a lot of people, that's slapped them the wrong way. It's rubbed their fur the wrong way. Because the truth is, Mike, no reasonable person thinks that you're natty. No one thinks you're natty. Uh, and consistency through the years at your age doesn't let you keep everything that you have completely natty. That's reality. Uh, you are at an age, uh, and again, I'm not far behind you, to where without using a little bit of something, something, you're not going to keep everything. You are going to start slowing down. Your growth hormone production slows down. Your IGF-1 production slows down. You recover slower to training. It becomes very, very difficult in your 40s. If you hit a peak in your 20s and you really, really busted your ass for a decade, when you start reaching your 40s, you will start to regress. You're going to see some muscle loss. You're going to see some strength loss. There's a reason Masters 1 and Masters 2 powerlifters, for example, have lower numbers usually than the open, the guys in their 30s. Most guys peak in their 30s in powerlifting, by the way. And it's because it takes a decade or more to really reach your peak as far as strength goes. It does take at least a decade. That's the real world. It does. And he's right on that. It does take a really, really, really long time to totally reach someone's drug peak. It takes usually about 10 years, all right? But you see diminished results after those first few. Meaning, what you make in the seven years after the first three won't be anywhere near what you made in the first three. It'll be a fraction of it but it will take you that long to peak. The problem is that he's jumping up saying, you know what, This is I've done it all this time, natural clean, and it's just taken me consistent years of hard work. Well, the reality is, Mike, you made dramatic gains after your 20s. Um, he is dramatically bigger in his 40s than he was even in his 20s after playing football, after being on American Gladiators, uh, everything else. It's not like he only gained five pounds or 10 pounds of muscle here. That's the problem with the claim he's natty. Now, do I think, and this is going to shock a lot of people, do I think Michael Hearn is a big abuser? No, I don't. That's also where the years of consistency come in. Mike has probably consistently used moderate amounts of gear, probably consistently used growth hormone for decades. And that is the difference. And I've known plenty of guys in their 50s who were healthy who had 30 years of a moderate gear use in. But the problem is that, and this is what it comes down to, Mike is sending out a good message to the kids because he's like, look, you need to just train clean, be consistent, put in the work year after year, decade after decade, eat good, train hard, be consistent. You will continue to make some progress over the years. All right, you will still keep progressing for longer than a decade. It's just not going to be very much after that. It's going to be minimal. But yeah, you can keep it for a long, long time. Just be consistent. And he's right. And he's saying, look, the drugs kill people. And the reason he's saying that is because Mike uh, probably knows that most people are stupid. 
Mike comes from a different generation and he thinks all the young kids are stupid. And if you talk about drugs, they're all going to run out and they're going to use the sort of amounts they see everyone on the internet admitting to. Grams of gear. And yeah, that will kill you. You know what, guys? Two grams of gear taken consistently for years, you're not only not going to keep the gains, it'll kill you. Um, Rich Piana is, uh, has suffered health problems probably directly related to his gear use. Is this specific incident this week directly gear related? Probably not. What is cumulative lifestyle? It's a factor. Absolutely a factor. Uh, and you know the same thing. Other people talking about is toxicology has come back clean. Well, if you put yourself into a almost a diabetic coma due to insulin, your toxicology will come back clean also. In fact, if someone overdoses and dies from insulin use and they kill themselves, it takes the, a coroner to actually dissect their organs to determine that's what killed them. They won't show in their toxicology. So that doesn't mean he didn't spike a bunch of insulin and get dizzy and pass out and fall and hit his head. All right. We know that he, if again, the story's out there that he uses insulin to help fill out for these events. That's still gear use. Um, so you've got all that, and Mike did use this to grandstand that, those points about the gear use, and that fact I can respect, and he is right. Most of these kids today, because Mike and I come from a different generation, he's slightly older than me, his generation were all about microdosing. And people today, they'd be, what? What do you mean 250 milligrams of test? Yeah. When I was younger, 250 to 500 milligrams was considered a normal cycle. When I was a young guy, like 20, 21, 22, around all this stuff, that's what guys used. In the 90s, mid-90s, late 90s, that was considered a normal cycle. Not a gram, not two grams, not five grams. Mike comes from that younger generation where people were more conservative. Conservative use for 25 years straight uh, actually will continue to make gains year after year. Guys who use those little tiny amounts, they do make gains year after year. They actually do. Uh, they don't make the dramatic gains. It takes a lot longer. They don't make the gains these guys on two grams do, but they don't suffer the same health problems either. But therein lies your problem. Uh, and this is why someone like Mike would put out that message. The younger kids today are too stupid to moderate their gear use. They really are. That's reality. Because they all want the fast results. They want fast results. Uh, and they so they megadose. There are examples of guys who are megadosing. Not just Boston Lloyd, Mike, uh, well, sorry, not Michael Hearn, but Rich Piana megadose. Rich Piana used excessive amounts. It will destroy your health. Uh, and publicly admitted to it. Absolutely. And I'm not saying you won't suffer some health problems even on microdoses. There is a risk of health. You know what? That, that is reality. That is reality. But even drinking in moderation might cause you some health problems too. But you're not going to suffer the health problems a true alcoholic suffers. Uh, and that's what a lot of it comes down to. But the, the reality is he is right uh, in telling kids to, to be clean, to stay clean, lifetime clean. To do it that way, be consistent, work hard, eat good. He's right in doing that, but the problem, and this is what upsets a lot of people, and it even has me kind of roll my eyes and go, Mike, you've been on gear for decades. All right, you've been on gear for decades. I'm not saying you don't have good genetics. I'm not saying you don't work hard, because you do. You you do work hard. You do work consistent. I don't think anyone's going <laughs> to deny that, but you also have a business, a big amount of business, a lot of money that revolves around your natural claims. Uh, when you very clearly aren't natty, very clearly aren't, doesn't mean you abuse big amounts, but you know what, moderate, relatively safe amounts can be done for decades, and we all know plenty of guys who've done it. You hang around and in the right circles, you will definitely meet guys with 30 years, 30 years of moderate gear use who seem to be in pretty good health. It does happen, it does exist. Um, we saw plenty of those golden era guys who are still around today. But there's a world of difference between that and what guys are doing today. And that's the big concern. But, you know, the, the whole problem is that, again, Mike Todd using it as a platform as proof of his own natty status. Well, ultimately, it really isn't. It really isn't proof of his natty status. It's just proof of uh, at least being conservative about it. Conservative enough that he's still probably in very good health at this age. Uh, and then that's definitely a factor. Uh, now, that aside, his overall message is still right, though. It's just that the problem is that he's used it as a narcissistic platform 
to try to prove once again that he's natural, uh, when again, no reasonable person believes that. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.